Tuna fishing is an important activity in the fishing industry. Often carried out in deep sea areas. The most common method is to use fishing nets and cast nets. First, fishermen often locate tuna by observing the activity of seabirds or using positioning equipment. Once found, they will drop nets or use specialized fishing rods. Tuna fishing requires patience and skill because tuna have strong pulling power. After being caught, the fish will be preserved immediately to ensure quality, usually by freezing or processing right on the boat. This fishing method not only helps maintain fishery resources but also contributes to protecting the marine environment. In addition to using nets and fishing rods, some fishermen also apply the bait fishing method. They often use small fish or fake bait to attract tuna. When the tuna swims close, the fisherman will quickly pull it up. This requires skills in observation and quick reaction time. In addition, tuna fishing is also related to conservation regulations. Fishermen often have to comply with the season and minimum size of fish to ensure the sustainable development of this species. Some areas also apply modern technology such as fishing boats equipped with fish finders which helps increase efficiency and minimize negative impacts on the environment. Finally, after being caught, tuna will be processed into many different products such as sushi, sashimi or canned food, bringing high economic value to fishermen and the community. Tuna fishing is not only a source of livelihood but also an art, closely linked to the culture and tradition of many coastal fishermen. In addition to traditional fishing methods, there are currently many studies and initiatives to improve the efficiency and sustainability of tuna fishing. New technologies such as satellite monitoring systems and underwater sensors are being used to monitor and manage fish stocks, helping fishermen to better locate fish and avoid overfishing. Another important aspect is raising awareness of marine conservation among fishing communities. NGOs and governments regularly organize training courses and workshops to help fishermen better understand the importance of protecting fish stocks and how to fish sustainably. Finally, tuna is not only an important economic resource but also a source of nutrition for many people. Through efforts to conserve and manage fish stocks, it is hoped that future generations will continue to enjoy this delicious and nutritious food. while protecting the marine ecosystem for future generations. Another interesting aspect of the tuna fishing industry is the connection between fishermen and the consumer market. Fishermen are not just catchers, but also suppliers of high-quality food. 
They regularly participate in seafood fairs, helping to promote their products to consumers and food processors. To increase the value of their products, many fishermen have switched to sustainable fishing methods, using environmentally friendly equipment and technology. This not only helps to conserve fish resources but also increases the value of their products. As consumers are increasingly concerned about the origin and sustainability of the food they consume. In addition, cooperation between fishermen and research organizations is important. Information gathered from actual fishing can be used to develop more effective fish resource management strategies. In this way, both fishermen and scientists work together to protect and develop aquatic resources, thereby creating a sustainable future for the tuna fishing industry. Finally, the culture and traditions of fishing communities are also very rich with many festivals and customs related to tuna fishing. These activities are not only cultural but also help to unite the community, creating solidarity between fishermen and their families in the context of globalization and climate change. The tuna fishing industry is also facing many new challenges. Climate change affects the marine environment, changing the distribution of fish species, including tuna. This requires fishermen to constantly update their knowledge and adjust their fishing methods to adapt to these changes. Moreover, competition between fishermen and countries is also increasing, leading to the need for international cooperation policies. Agreements on sustainable fishing and protection of aquatic resources are being established to ensure that all stakeholders can work together to manage and conserve these resources. In addition, the development of information technology is also opening up new opportunities for the tuna industry. The use of mobile applications and online platforms makes it easy for fishermen to connect with the market. Update information on prices and consumption demand. This not only improves business efficiency but also helps fishermen make more timely and accurate decisions. Finally, the consumer community is increasingly aware of the importance of choosing tuna products from sustainable sources. Consumer support for these products will motivate fishermen to continue pursuing environmentally friendly fishing methods, thereby contributing to protecting marine ecosystems and maintaining fishery resources for future generations. The growing consumer interest in sustainability has also led to the emergence of many seafood product certifications and labels. These certifications not only help consumers easily identify tuna products that are caught sustainably, but also encourage fishermen to improve their fishing methods to meet higher standards. 
This creates a virtuous cycle where fishermen benefit from higher value while protecting a valuable resource. In addition, communication and community education are also important. Regular educational programs on marine environmental protection and sustainable fishing practices are organized to raise awareness among both fishermen and consumers. When people have a better understanding of the problems facing the sea, They will take more practical actions to protect the environment. Another notable aspect is the combination of traditional fishing and technology. Fishermen today can use drones to monitor fish schools. Or use sensors to collect data on sea temperature and salinity. Thereby helping them make more accurate decisions about when and where to fish. Finally, the development of cooperative networks between fishermen. Businesses and NGOs is opening up new opportunities. These collaborative initiatives not only help improve production efficiency but also create a solid foundation for the conservation and sustainable development of fisheries resources. Through this collaboration, fishermen can share experiences, knowledge and technology, thereby jointly overcoming the challenges facing the tuna fishing industry. Collaboration among stakeholders has also promoted the development of financial support programs for fishermen. Support funds are often established to help fishermen invest in new technology, improve equipment and participate in training programs. This not only helps improve production efficiency but also reduces risks in fishing activities, especially when market prices fluctuate. In addition, Information and data sharing among fishermen, businesses and scientists is also important. Through the collection and analysis of data on fish stocks, environmental conditions and market trends, parties can coordinate more effectively in resource management. Continuously updated scientific research also helps fishermen better understand the factors that affect tuna. thereby adjusting their fishing methods accordingly. Another interesting aspect is the emergence of fishing models combined with tourism. Many fishermen have expanded their activities by organizing tuna fishing experience tours. This not only creates additional income, but also helps tourists better understand the profession of fishermen, and the importance of protecting the marine environment. Finally, in the context of globalization, Branding for tuna products is also becoming increasingly important. Many fishermen and cooperatives have realized that building strong brands can help them expand their markets and increase the value of their products. Creative marketing and communication campaigns. Combined with sharing the story of sustainable fishing. Can attract interest from both domestic and international consumers. 
All these efforts not only help the tuna fishing industry develop sustainably, but also contribute to protecting the marine environment, creating a bright future for both fishermen and future generations in the context of increasing globalization and climate change. The tuna fishing industry is facing serious challenges. These changes not only affect fishery resources but also the livelihoods of millions of fishermen around the world. This further highlights the role of international cooperation in managing fishery resources, thereby ensuring sustainable development. Many international organizations have begun to organize conferences and forums to discuss ways to manage fishery resources more effectively. Policies such as limiting fishing, preserving breeding areas and strengthening control of illegal fishing are gradually being applied. Through this, Countries can share experiences. knowledge and resources, creating a stronger legal framework for tuna conservation. In addition, research and development efforts are also being stepped up. Research on marine ecology, the health of tuna stocks and the impact of environmental factors provide valuable information for fishermen and managers. Community research projects are regularly implemented. Encouraging fishermen to participate and have a voice in policy making. The development of new technologies is also bringing breakthrough opportunities for the tuna industry. The application of artificial intelligence and machine learning in analyzing fishing and environmental data helps fishermen make more accurate predictions about fish occurrence. This not only improves production efficiency but also helps to minimize negative impacts on the environment. Finally, the involvement of NGOs and communities also plays an important role in raising awareness and creating positive changes. Awareness campaigns on fisheries resources. Community events and educational activities are all aimed at raising awareness of environmental protection. All these efforts are aimed at building a sustainable future for the tuna fishing industry. Protecting not only fisheries resources but also the livelihoods and cultures of fishing communities. These solutions are not only necessary but also a shared responsibility of all of us in preserving and developing the precious resources of the ocean. Another important factor in the sustainable development of the tuna fishing industry is the conservation of marine ecosystems, coral reefs, breeding grounds and marine environments need to be protected to maintain ecological balance and support the development of fish species, including tuna,
Combining environmental conservation with fishing activities will help ensure that marine resources are not overexploited. In addition, the participation of local communities in the management and protection of fisheries resources is also very important. Experienced fishermen often have a good understanding of fish migration and environmental conditions in their area. When they are listened to and involved in the decision-making process, they can provide valuable information that helps managers develop more effective strategies. With the increasing awareness of sustainability issues, many brands and restaurants have begun to cooperate with fishermen to provide sustainably caught tuna products. Consumer support for these products not only increases the value for fishermen, but also motivates them to switch to environmentally friendly fishing methods. Furthermore, the development of ecotourism around tuna fishing is also becoming a new trend. Many fishermen have expanded their operations by offering tourism experiences to visitors, allowing them to participate in the fishing process and learn about the profession. This not only creates additional income, but also helps raise environmental awareness among both tourists and the community. Ultimately, the combination of technology, science and tradition will create a sustainable future for the tuna fishing industry. Applying modern fishing methods while preserving fishing traditions not only brings economic efficiency but also protects the culture and heritage of coastal communities. All of these efforts show that a sustainable future for the tuna fishing industry is not only possible but also an important goal to achieve. The combination of social responsibility, environmental protection and economic development will contribute to creating a thriving tuna industry. While protecting a valuable resource for future generations to promote sustainable development in the tuna fishing industry, close coordination between governments, NGOs, fishermen and consumers is needed. Governments have an important role in developing appropriate policies and regulations to manage marine resources. The establishment of marine reserves and regulations on fishing seasons are necessary to protect fish stocks and their habitats. Furthermore, NGOs can support fishermen in training and improving their skills in sustainable fishing. Training programs can help fishermen better understand modern fishing methods, thereby optimizing production processes and minimizing environmental impacts. In addition, it is important to encourage innovation in fishing technology, research into the development of advanced fishing equipment, such as selective nets and smart positioning technology, can help reduce bycatch and protect juvenile fish. Consumer engagement is equally important. When consumers choose to buy tuna from sustainable sources, 
They are indirectly supporting fishermen who practice environmentally friendly methods. Communication campaigns can help raise awareness of the importance of choosing sustainable products, thereby encouraging consumers to change their consumption habits. In addition, organizing community events and festivals related to tuna not only provides opportunities for fishermen to share their experiences but also contributes to community bonding. These activities not only promote local culture and traditions, but also encourage cooperation among fishermen, thereby creating a more sustainable environment. Finally, 